Hello YouTube's Krosama, and here we have today from the SD Cross Silhouette line is Freedom Gundam. Now this is a pretty damn cool suit, it is from the Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Saga, so if you really are into the Seed Kits, this is definitely going to be up your alley, as at least for the SD Gundams. Uh, but you know what, the Freedom Gundam is not my favorite mobile suit from the line of, uh, of Seed Kits. Uh, I'm actually more into like the Blitz, you know, or maybe even the Seed Astray uh, stuff, but you know, nonetheless, I think the Freedom is a very fine suit. Uh, I'm probably going to paint this. I, I kind of want to go more pinkish, to be honest. Like, I, I really want to turn that white into pink, uh, but I haven't really decided on much else of what I want to do, but that's kind of like the idea I have in mind. Uh, but yeah, I, whenever I do get into painting, and a big shout out to New Type for sponsoring this video. You can go to their website down below, check out all the Cross to the Wet line that they do have in their catalog. And if you do have a couple of kits that you really want to pick out, then use that promo code Krosama for 10% off. So, on to the unboxing. Looking at the front cover art first, I just, I actually really like this cover art. This is more than likely my favorite cover art of any Cross Silhouette kit so far. I think it looks really awesome, pretty menacing, and it's, I don't know, it's, it's still in its uh, SD chibi form, so that, I don't know, it looks really damn cool in that form, actually. This is number eight in the Cross Silhouette line. In Japan, it's retail for about $7.50 at Yamada Dinky, but you're probably gonna be able to find this for about $10 on average. And looking over here, you can see that it is going to come with beam sabers. Now, these are not going to be red. They're definitely going to be molded in all white. And you also have a beam rifle, and that can actually be equipped to the waist, which is pretty cool. Uh, then the beam sabers can combine together, so that we can have like a little dual beam saber action. And over here, you can see a nice little pose where all of its beam cannons are deployed. So more likely, is this is going to be the pose I'm going to just stick with. And when you have the cross silhouette frame equipped, you are going to have the legs and arms, waist and head all extended. So it's going to have a pretty NX Edge style look. And over here, they're just kind of showcasing all the color separation in the head. And you definitely know most of the body is going to have some decent color separation. But of course, this kit is going to have some stickers with it. And let's crack it open. And we'll start with runner A1. You're going to have... Uh, pretty much the SD inner frame, so nothing really unique here. It's pretty much going to be the same frame as with all the other SD cross silhouette kits. And runner B1 is going to be a combination of blue and white parts. Uh, so you do see all the head parts, the waist. Uh, you are going to have some of the beam rifle, shield, and just other little areas. Uh, got some waist right here with the beam sabers are actually already mounted in there. Uh, which is pretty odd, uh, but you are going to have the blue wings and they look pretty damn good. A lot of panel lines, a lot of details you can fill in. Uh, so really excited to go ahead and just paint all the details in there. I might just do some like color separation. So mask around here and then paint like this part separate. Uh, maybe do multiple tones. I really want to practice more with um, kind of just like the RG style and SD kits. So I'll probably mask all this and then just do two different tones on both. But yeah, that looks pretty good. And Runner B2 is going to have more of that same blue and white. However, it is going to have some of that yellow, which is going to be for the eyes, as well as the top V-fin. And you're going to have this kind of like neutral gray, almost like a maybe a bluish gray, uh, which is going to be for the little side rails. And it's going to be for the chest fins right here. So I'm, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm actually really wanting to start building this uh, pretty much ASAP. Uh, but you know, I'm, I'm probably just going to put this off just for a little bit. But yeah, I love the colors, love the details. Can't wait to put it together though. And runner B3 is essentially the same runner as B2, but just some less parts. And for runner C1, it's just gonna be a lot of uh, gray. So you got the hands, you got the beam rifle, you also got parts for the head, as you can see. Uh, so nothing really too unique here. And runner C2 is going to be a very dark, uh, pretty much like a navy blue. And it's gonna be for the chest, you got the backpack, and you got more of the backpack right here, as well as the shield. And the last runner is going to be runner C3, so it's going to be some of your red, and this is pretty much all going to be for the head. Now your sticker sheet, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you are wondering, uh, this isn't really too bad. Like I knew a lot about this red, because just looking at it, I was like, yeah, there's no way that some of these parts, like for the, uh, the shoulders, you got this little part for the, uh, the chest. So I just figured that those were not going to be parts of uh, this. You know, I, I didn't know what, how that was going to do, but yeah, that's pretty much stickers going to be for the wings. And of course, you're going to have the eyes and the top sensor. So that does not look bad whatsoever. 
And lastly, here is the Freedom Gundam Manual. So you are going to have some nice little coloring in there. I, I actually really enjoy the colored um, kind of instructions, even though it, to me it doesn't really help me at all personally. Uh, but it is pretty nice to look at. I wish most of the instructions were all in color, but you know they're trying to save up some money. They don't want to use up all their ink. Uh, regardless, though, guys, uh, if you do want to pick up this kit, hey, please check out New Type. Uh, it's a great shop and I think if y'all know me I, I was pretty much adamant on having like a great sponsor uh, that doesn't like rip off their customers and has great customer service uh, I talked to the owner uh, I would say or at least one of the uh, co-founders of it I talked to him almost daily and he's an amazing guy Harry uh, so I you know I am vouching that this place is great and I you know I too am ordering kits from there uh, mainly just the P Bandai since it is a little bit harder for me to pick it up here. I know I'm in Japan, but hey, some P Bandai is actually pretty hard for me to grab. Uh, so I'll definitely be ordering from them. And if you do purchase your stuff over $100 in the US, then you get free shipping, which is fantastic. But uh, I know if you if you just want to buy a one-off kit like the Cross Silhouette Freedom, you can still pick that up and you get flat shipping, flat shipping, uh, which is actually a very good price. Uh, yeah. So just check them out and use that promo code Krosama, get that 10% off, and hopefully you can enjoy some Cross Silhouette Gundams while I'm enjoying Cross Silhouette Gundams. But hey, I'll be seeing you guys later, and like always, please rate, comment, subscribe if you did like the video, and I'll be seeing y'all in the next review. Bye-bye.